All right, so welcome to this week's Lead Loud video, where the burning question this week, a little bit different, is this, should I become a serial entrepreneur? Let's dig into it. So here's a question, should I become a serial entrepreneur? I don't know, I've been called a serial entrepreneur uh, for a long, long period of time. I don't even know, serial, serial, why serial, right? I guess, you know, serial killer does lots of killing, serial entrepreneur does lots of entrepreneuring. And I guess herein lies the problem. Look, let me take you through my story. I started Missing Link when I was 22 years old. I think what kind of defined me as an entrepreneur was that I, I believe entrepreneurs to some degree see a problem in the world. They either fix a problem or they fill a gap. The problem was the world started giving me this term. You are an entrepreneur. You are an entrepreneur. I'm a member of the entrepreneur's organization. That is my defining thing. So I started thinking and acting like an entrepreneur. Here's the problem. You know what entrepreneurs do? They start businesses. So in order for me to pursue my career, I had to start more and more and more companies. One minute I was running a highly specialized presentation company. The next uh, uh, instance, I had like five different companies in all different fields and just trying to keep the, the plates turning was absolutely crazy. It really, really was. You know, I had a notebook business. We had a sales company, a, a team building type company, innovation lab, and, you know, the presentation firm. But I thought I had to do this because, you know, at some point I would walk into uh, be traveling around the world doing something and getting into an airport immigration desk and it says occupation and I wrote occupation entrepreneur. And, so, and I understand that's a bit of a douchebaggy thing to say, but entrepreneur was what I'd written. So that must be what I have to do. So then I've got to start shit like I've got to start companies. And that's not my job. So I remember years ago, I was reading a fantastic book by a guy called Harry Beckwith, and the book is called Selling the Invisible. Dated now, but the principles are still very relevant. If you sell an invisible product like a service, then this is the book for you. And I remember coming out of my office, it was a missing link second offices, and walking into the team and saying, guys, I don't care what it is you do. I don't care if you do video, if you do graphic design, I don't care if you're in sales. If somebody asks you what it is you do from this day forward, you are a presentation strategist. I didn't, I wanted to be more than just the designing of presentations. I wanted to be about understanding the strategy of great presentations and what makes great speakers and things like this. It doesn't matter. If you want to have colon video, go for it. And that's what we did. We were presentation specialists or presentation strategists until we weren't, until I got distracted and until my ego started thinking, I am an entrepreneur. I must do entrepreneur things and start lots of companies. Here's the problem. It didn't get me closer to where I needed to be. I took the category, being an entrepreneur, that's a category. It means I started a business. At some stage in my life, I'm like, there's entrepreneurs and there's employees. And I was an entrepreneur, right? That's not a job. No employee goes to an immigration form, occupation, employee. Employees, you know, arrive and work for other humans. Entrepreneurs arrive and work for themselves. It's not a job. It's a category. Sure, it's like being a creative. Hey, what do you do? I'm a creative. What? Sorry, you just give me an adjective there. You're a creative what? Graphic designer, copywriter, you know, what are you? Uh, like maybe, it's very frustrating for me. Look, here's the thing. If you're not uh, sitting on a production line right now, if you're not, if you're any kind of, not a technical job and you're a knowledge worker of some kind, I hope you're creative. Right? A creative isn't a thing. Creativity or being creative is a thing, an attribute that we need. It's a category that we need in order to be a knowledge workers. If you're a knowledge worker today and you're not creative, you will be replaced by an AI. So figure that out. Anyway, that's a different rant, maybe for a different video. But this entrepreneurship thing, I think it's got us confused. I think it's heading us in the wrong direction because it's forcing me to, or it forced me for years to stop focusing on my job presentation strategist and to become better at that, to become the best in the world. And I lost my way. I lost my way completely. I was doing talks all over the world on all different topics, all different things, because I didn't want to be a presentation strategist. That, that wasn't cool enough. I wanted to be an entrepreneur because that's been glorified, but we're over glorifying entrepreneurship and under glorifying focus. The focus on what matters, on becoming better at your craft, on going deeper inside that one area of authority, instead of trying to have many, many different areas that exist. 
you know, what is a serial entrepreneur anyway? I don't know, like a Mark Zuckerberg, serial entrepreneur. I'm sure he started a business when he was like 13 or something. And now he's like a billionaire, but it's like one business. So what's a serial entrepreneur mean? Does it mean that you, I don't know, or is he just an entrepreneur? And why does it matter? Again, why are we glorifying starting lots of things? You know, stick to something. And for sure, yeah, great, start, sell, build again, start, sell, build again. You want to do all of those things. And I think that's pretty cool for, for many people because entrepreneurs, they fix problems or they fill gaps. And there are problems and gaps that need to be fixed and filled. So that's fantastic. However, if you are like the 95% entrepreneurs, like most of us, it's not your job title. Your job title is what you do every day to solve problems for your customers. It's what you do every day to solve problems for your teams. Like that's your job. And when you start understanding that my job is X, not the category of business ownership that you fall into, well then it'll force you to focus on different, more important things. And I'm very, very happy to tell you that like um, I let go of my ego, I understood that actually being a presentation strategist is pretty cool. I love it. It's something the world needs. It's my icky guy. You know, icky guy, you know, what you can get paid for, what the world needs, what you're good at, and what you like, what you love, what you get. Yes, all of those things. That's my icky guy, presentation stuff. I actually really like this thing. So I decided to go deep on the thing that matters to me. And I'd like to suggest the same for you. Being an entrepreneur, it's a category. Start a business, kind of cool, but that's not your job. So something to think about. If you disagree with me, I would love to hear that in the comments. If you agree with me, what is your actual job? What is it you do? Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope it's made you think a little bit differently. And maybe for one or two of you out there, it's fixed a switch in your head and got you to lean in instead of lean out. That's it for me. Lead loud. Peace.